So I like, I'm like peeping, you know, peeping Tom. And don't, don't call yourself that. I'm that. <laughs> don't, don't I want to be. Don't stop me. No, no, she doesn't. I want to be a peeping Tom. No, she doesn't. All right. As a woman, I need your take on this because Leslie Foosley Gaming, that's her full legal name. Leslie Foosley Gaming. Have we started? Or are you asking? This is me already? starting. Oh, okay. Leslie Fusi Ga Fusilli Gaming. Fusilini. You know her? Yes. She was on Fear Ann last week, replaced me. She did an amazing job. She is genuinely one of the best humans I've ever met. But she had this hot take that has been living with me rent free. And it blew my mind so much. I brought it up on Fear And. I have to bring it up here. I it was like one of the okay. Here's a relatable thing. All women do this at one point. You don't have a pad. You grab toilet paper. You go. Yep, 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 Every yep. woman's done that. Every woman has probably used the Pee their pants. faucet of the bathtub to off with. I have not done that. Oh, well, most women have. Yeah. Not a bad time. <laughs> <laughs> most women. Uh, most women have. Uh, been too tired pooped to have sex pants no not most women have pooped their pants yes these are things that like most women have done right yes so Fusli is on fear and she's talking about how she only does laundry once a month which like kudos queen that means you have a lot of clothes it's not she's not dirty she just has a lot of clothes uh but she was like sometimes i run out of underwear though and like her solution to running out of underwear, which my solution is go commando, baby. We're going to see what yeah, happens. Same. Her mm -hmm. solution is take the dirty underwear, put a pad on the dirty underwear, and then wear that. I've never, I've never I've done that. I've never done that. And I didn't know if that was like one of those like things where she dropped and it was like I could, uh, relatable I queen. But if I don't I know had if it was. thought of that I was ever, like, I, I may consider a liner, but not a pad. Yeah. Well, for all we know, it could be a liner and she just said pad. Like, you know. Sure. But like. I would consider that. It blew that. my mind. I may consider that in the future if like, you know, if times are, if times are tough. I think I am more likely to just flip my underwear over. Yeah. I've done that traveling for sure. I like miss so cow underwear. Okay. That is. Crazy. Also, doing laundry once a month is crazy. I, there's well, no... It's not that bad. I, just kinda cr I live in a tiny house. I don't have that much. <laughs> I don't have very many clothes. I don't think Dude, I could make I it. I was talking... I, I, I forgot to tell you this. I was at a coffee shop. I go to coffee shops. You know me with the general public. I chit chat. I'm a, chit I'm a small talker. They look She's at me wrong and I'm like, how's your Tuesday? What's your problem? Oh. No, I'm like... To, I'm nice. I'm friendly. I'm like, I'm a cool one here alone. Today, she, we went to a coffee shop and a dog came over and she's on the phone with me. And she's like, oh my God, so sweet. He's so well-trained. And then she says into the phone, I say well-trained as he bites my hand. And <laughs> she's still like touching the dog. He literally bit me. So. But I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to freak out. Hopefully they didn't hear you say that. They didn't. I, wa I, was, a, I was a few steps away. Maybe I they did, break. but it did bite me. And I am not suing because I'm a good person. Respect. Um, and I think he was just excited. Um, but I was at a coffee shop and these two people were talking. They're sitting. I'm waiting for my coffee. And there's two people talking. And this one girl wants a tiny home. And she's like, yeah, I think I'm going to get a tiny home. I'm going to put it in like uh, my like parents or my grandparents backyard, blah, blah, blah. Like, Here's some inspo and they're like on Pinterest, blah, blah. And then the second girl was like, oh, there's this girl on YouTube. Let me show you her tiny home. And I'm like, ah. no and, way. And so I like I'm like peeping, being a peeping Tom. Um, and don't don't call yourself that. I'm that. <laughs> don't, don't I want to be. Don't stop me. No, uh, no, she doesn't. I want to be a peeping Tom. No, she doesn't. <laughs> she does not. Please. She's just nosy. It's, it's actually my aspiration in life. And no. It's mean oh, that my you're God. It's it so insane that you'd say that. <laughs> so I'm a peeping We're so time. lucky to be women. And, and be I'm able sitting to over that. there uh, and uh, and I'm looking. And sure enough, she goes on her phone and she pulls up your YouTube video of your tiny house. Yeah. And and I then 
peep and I say, hey, I know that girl. She does have a good tiny house. And they're like, oh, yeah. Like, does she do a lot of houses? And I was like, huh? Huh? <laughs> and they were like, thought that you were just like this like tiny, tiny house, house girl. Yeah. They like had it okay, seen- for the record. For some reason, my tiny house tour did like a million views on yeah. YouTube, which is not even like that crazy. Like, that's weird that they no, would just you're not see Mr. that Beast. one. And think that I was like tiny house person. Yeah, you're I just the tiny the house one. girl to them. Because it's funny because like they, have the one. they had no other context. They just like had only seen that video, it sounded like. And it was yeah. just funny. It was that just like funny. such a funny like I was like, oh, yeah, like Maya. And they were like, no, that's not her name. And it's like on your page. <laughs> and I was like, oh, it is. And they were like, oh, I guess it is. And I was like, that's bizarre. That's Bye. so bizarre. It was really weird. But. You know, a lot. One of the biggest comments on that video was like, "How much does it cost?" I never answer the question one because I was trying to avoid them finding the manufacturer because, like, who knows, right? Online. Um, and two, uh, I'm kind of embarrassed by the price. Do you know how much my tiny house costs? Sixty k. No. Eighty. One hundred and twenty. Ninety eight. Is that embarrassing for a house? It's a. I mean, for a tiny house, this this is like. Just over 30 feet by like 10, 10 feet. Is that expensive so, or is it cheap? Is that what you're saying? It's expensive. Oh. I think it's expensive well, for what I a tiny house is. Well, I think most people build their own tiny house. Yeah. And when people think tiny house living, they're like, oh my God, I'm going to save so much money. I'm going minimalist. I was not going minimalist here. Like I like having a nice house. My ceilings are real high. I have these like beautiful bay windows, right? So I got like a luxury tiny house, oh. I would say. Um, tiny house is just the K. new word for a trailer. For the record. Like when people think trailer park, they think like pullable trailers, but a lot of mm-hmm. trailer park homes were just tiny houses. Yeah. Like they're not actually trailer like, parks. I, they're yeah. not trailers. So I think right. it's funny that we've gentrified trailer parks. And now it's like hip. Now it's hip. Yeah. To have a tiny house. I'm like, let me yeah. tell you about Eminem's mom. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I I mean, it's not a lot of space. Like you definitely have to have to get rid of your stuff and live more like a minimalist but this i mean it was not cheap i wasn't like being like a real modest like i'm just gonna live by my means gal it's an expensive home i think if you Um, built your own you could do it within 20k yeah well yeah no yeah you're right you can buy like the bare bones and insulate it and yeah yeah, you could do 20k i uh for the record we don't have wine again i have coffee maya where's your coffee awkward it's empty uh, we're not doing wine again because my prescription has been extended. Eventually, I'll feel comfortable drinking on it. Maybe, probably. I just, okay, we have to do like a PSA here real quick. Mental health PSA, a trigger warning. I'm a raptor. <laughs> I was doing this. She's ill. Ill. Um, but I, uh, I'm on clonopin. I got put on clonopin for a daily dose, which is pretty, uh, I don't know if it's rare. It's just not something I'm necessarily comfortable with. Um, she hates prescription drugs. I hate prescription drugs. And I have had a benzo prescription before and it was for onset panic. So, uh, airplanes, or if I'm having a panic attack, then I take lorazepam, uh, it's an Ativan essentially. I take that, calm me down chill have Um, you ever had xanax yeah okay um and then the clonopin when i started uh having the i you guys might not follow me on twitter i posted on twitter i forever ago i got diagnosed with a disassociation disorder which is totally fine whatever i can live with it it's like a few weeks ago well context no the dissociation disorder i've been diagnosed for a while Oh. Maybe I just didn't say anything. I thought it was a new, like, I thought the deep realization thing was like a different diagnosis. Oh, that's the new diagnosis. Yeah. Got so it. I've had the disassociation disorder for, honestly, I have found out for many, many years. I just didn't realize I had it um, mm-hmm. because I always thought that I was, it was impossible for me to get stressed. That sounds funny, but it's because I just dissociate. So I don't feel the stress. 
And I thought it was like a superpower because people would be like, don't you get so stressed with your events? And I was like, no, no, I'm fine. But then an event would end and I'd also feel nothing. So it's like, mm -hmm. oh, you know, so I've just been in and out of dissociation for the many, many years at this point. Um, but the problem with the last few weeks, uh, there's been a lot of stuff going on that I can't really talk about that's been stressful. And all of a sudden I um, started suffering from derealization and depersonalization, so DRDP. Mm -hmm. um, and that's the new diagnosis. And it's really scary for someone that's anxious, that gets scared of like losing their mind and stuff like that, because it does feel like you are losing grasp on reality. Um, for a few days there, I genuinely thought I was just about to crack and go into psychosis. Because like I would be walking down the street and I would just get this persistent thought in my head that like this person isn't real. Like all of this is fake. This is a movie or this is a dream or this is an NPC. But it was like really severe and really scary. Um, and yeah, it was just getting pretty gnarly. And so I had to have like more therapy appointments than usual that week. And then the psychiatrist was like, you know what? I think. There's two ways that depersonalization, derealization works. There's one where it's anxiety and trauma based. And then there's one where it's like schizophrenia, uh, other type of disorder based. Um, mm -hmm. And she was like, I think yours is anxiety based. So we're going to try. And I'm explaining this all right now because I saw some of the comments and I, I'm just putting this out here. Um, I saw some of the comments being concerned about me taking clonopin. And I just want to say, I am also concerned about me taking clonopin, but I am being as responsible as a human can be. I'm terrified to be addicted to any uh, prescription. My mother was addicted per to prescriptions. So it's like something that I'm very, very wary of. It's something I'm very terrified of. Uh, I don't want to be dependent on anything. However, I hadn't tried this and the derealization and the depersonalization was so scary that I needed to try something. So she put me on um, uh, 0.25 milligrams in the morning and night of clonopin. Um, mm -hmm. And after about four days, I felt normal again. Um, mm -hmm. And it was kind of like a breath of fresh air. Um, and so as much as like commenters, you are like, cutie, benzos are really bad for you. And clonopin is really bad for you. I, I know mm -hmm. I shouldn't be replying to commentators, but. I'm just telling you that I, I'm very aware I'm doing what is best for me at the moment. Um, and this is what is allowing me to function right now. Um, yeah. so yeah, I'm but not making that face. Like you shouldn't reply to commenters. I think I didn't see any of those there. I'm sure they're coming from a good place, but also just like, oh, in general, definitely don't weigh in on what someone what prescription someone is taking if you're not their psychiatrist which you're not I, that's like yeah not not i it. mean it does like no it idea. triggers me too because i'm right. i am afraid of this medicine for the record i know yeah. it's i know it can be very dangerous but i'm on a very low dose and uh i was feeling pretty normal and so then i had a follow-up appointment with my psychiatrist and we've lowered my dose so i'm only taking it once a day but the issue is some of the dissociation is coming back and so we mm -hmm. might have to up my dose but we'll talk about it in two weeks but that is a little rough uh a little sh a shortened version of just kind of like the medication that i'm trying right now and for the record if you have followed me for a long time you know that i have tried the vitamins i've tried the supplements i've tried this is a big step for me to be on a prescription i'm not necessarily happy about it but i have to do something so mm -hmm. that's it yeah baby. but also it's respectfully it's none of y'all's business respectfully it's none of your business but i am sharing because there's probably up. some people out there with like the same i don't know it's very taboo <laughs> right to talk about uh no it shouldn't well yes but it should not be that's dumb it shouldn't be the amount of dms i got uh, from like fellow content creators was pretty overwhelming when it came to like i just tweeted out about the uh derealization depersonalization for the record yeah. all of this really started uh, i think the catalyst of everything was uh the deep fake situation going into streamer awards going into uh chaos uh the aftermath of streamer awards going into existing 
on the internet and it was just the final straw and I think it just made my brain go bye bye and yeah I just felt like I haven't really updated like my community on like what's been going on like why she's only streaming maybe 10 hours a month or 40 or like you know when I used to stream 90 or 100 like it seems Mm -hmm. crazy and so I was just kind of uh that was like one of the reasons I tweeted it was just being like hey here's an update it's not one i'm super happy about the better update would be like yo hey I'm i've taken back, so much baby. time yeah i'm back baby <laughs> um yeah but it's still a major work in progress and i'm just as frustrated as anyone could be about it so yeah i don't know no i think it's fair you you got a lot of uh interesting responses i read the replies um on that tweet because I'm interested myself and like I've I've done the Googling because Cutie is not allowed to do the Googling yeah, I can't do the Googling. of it. And so I'm learning about it, too, um, just just so I can understand it better. And there are a lot of people that replied that deal with very similar stuff and a lot of creators, yeah. too, yeah, which is cool when you ever if when you ever have the bandwidth to like talk about it with someone that there's a lot of resources there where like could help. You know? Yeah, that's my problem right now is like. Not like I'm not doing this in a flexy way, but like. To give you an idea of my day-to-day life, like, I have 101 text messages that I need to reply to. I can confirm. are not junk. I I would take Cutie's phone in LA because I was uploading things to the Patreon while we were there together, and we would use her phone. And she, yeah, she has, like, hundreds of Discord messages and, like, 100 text messages. I have 74 Discord messages I need to reply to, and I have about probably 50 or 60 uh, Twitter and these are ones I that like I need to reply to. My mind. It's yeah, not I just have... like all my notifications are cleared. It's it's very overwhelming. Her phone is very overwhelming. Yeah, I can't keep up. I can't stay on top of it. And so even though there's lots of people that reached out to me that they are like giving me advice and stuff like that, I'm like So I'm just trying Yeah, to... and don't even like get me started on Twitter DMs. Right. Yeah. It's like Yeah. 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 Well, there are a lot of people that are in this space that that deal with something similar, which is nice to know. Yeah, um, it is nice to know. Um, and it's also it's been very uh, uh, comforting to know that, like, you know, the anti-anxiety medicine has helped me because that means that it is the triggering is more likely the anxiety, the trauma instead anxiety, of yeah. like psychosis and all because that yeah. stuff is scarier and people have it and it's treatable. What was really interesting, uh, actually, I don't even think I told you this, is I, um, ow, I talked to my psychiatrist about this and because um, I, I have a fear of many things, but one of those things is psychosis. And I was talking mm-hmm. to her, I was like, hey, like, can this derealization, depersonalization lead to psychosis? And she said, you know, I'll be honest with you, it's typically a precursor to psychosis. Like usually people, mm-hmm. you know, start thinking everyone's robots or whatever and then they flip into psychosis um but she's like good news is psychosis is easier to treat than this interesting (laughs) yeah you did tell me that yeah um and you you said you were like if i i don't know how to say if i enter psychosis could you fix it and she's like yep boom bam (laughs) yep she was like that's way easier than disassociation derealization yeah which is crazy yeah, it's so, so interesting. So, uh, Yeah, I but, was telling Cutie on the phone not today. Not saying that I I'm, want psychosis. I do not. I still do not want psychosis. Right. <laughs> I don't manifest that. Take it out of the universe. I was talking to Cutie today about how I wish I still had my anxiety medication. I used Hello Durs. He hates it. Release him. Durs. Durs. <laughs> He's pissed. Um, I was talking to Cutie today about how I wish I still had uh, my anxiety med. I-, I used to be prescribed Xanax in college, which is great because when I would have panic attacks, I would take a Xanax and it would... It seems not real, but w- literally within minutes, you like stop hyperventilating. It- Xanax is crazy. <laughs> Xanax is like a... You know, what's crazy to me is my so I was like telling, you know, I was telling my psychiatrist, I was like, yo, like, I'm scared to be on this. Like, what if it's too much? What if it's too little? Like, but, you know, because I'm just Mm -hmm. whatever. And she's like, 
well, you're talking to me very coherently. You're not slurring. You're not this. You feel pretty normal right now. And I was like, yeah. And this is when my dose was higher a week ago, which I mm -hmm. think, sadly, I'm going to have to go back to it because I've been feeling more of the dissociation again, but since I've lowered it, but whatever. Saying that out loud because it's stressing me out. So then sometimes you get out of your mouth and it's less stressful. Um, mm -hmm. But I was talking to her and she was like, well, just so you know, the reason that you know you need it is if I were to take point two five milligrams of clonopin right now it would make me take a nap oh yeah. and yours is making you be able to function and i was like right oh that's an interesting <laughs> way to think super about interesting it. i was like yeah, yeah if i if i took a xanax and didn't have anxiety i would be like sleeping yeah um but in college i used to have panic attacks um not often i don't know like once a month or something um and so i would carry it like in my book bag in school and it would stop my panic attacks within minutes i was no longer hyperventilating it that was crazy um and i just simply ran out of xanax um and uh by the time i had run out i had moved to texas and so then i'd have to find a psychiatrist in texas i think it's remarkably way too easy actually in texas to acquire xanax really like i bet if i went in there today they'd be like here's a prescription if this is what you want um which is scary I, I probably could do that i just haven't um but i've had really bad anxiety over the past two days um where over things that are small like you know what the things are i don't want to like talk about the things but they're small things like they're just not a big deal She's normally pregnant. normally i just Huh? Her period's late. She's really stressed. Yeah, I'm pregnant. <laughs> and normally these things I just wouldn't think about. Um, but anxiety just has this like addictive quality where your brain moves so fast when you're anxious and it just feels like this momentum. And then when you get anxiety over one thing and you're in this momentum and you're moving that fast, it's like it just wants to pull everything else in there. So then other things that wouldn't be a big deal grabbed onto my snowball and then became huge things and so i had a record like it must have been 30 hours of just snowballing spiraling um yeah anxiety, anxiety is a couple days i've had a therapist in the past explain anxiety as a drug uh that mm -hmm. lives in your body and once you unlock it it gets addicted to itself yeah and it's like oh that's, it does it that's... really feels addictive it's no like... it is and then panic attacks are a big rush of adrenaline that you have nothing to do with and so it's an escalation of anxiety and so you don't have anywhere to run you don't have anything to fight and so then instead you just panic 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 but then that rush of adrenaline your body also gets addicted to so that's how panic yeah. disorders get really cyclical yeah Interesting. okay speaking of panic unrelated are we done do you have anything else to say no because i'm segueing. okay I need to know what happened <laughs> because <laughs> cutie called me one night. I didn't pick up bitch. And then I was in the middle of a conversation and then she texted me. Uh, let me read what you said or would it spoil the story? No, you can read it. Okay. She texted me. You were like almost died and then told a man to kill himself and that I hope he does. And I said, can you tell me? <laughs> Can you tell me Monday or is it not a podcast story? And then she said, I can tell you Monday. I asked if she was okay. And she said, yeah. yeah. So what happened? Yeah. All right. I need props. One second. Okay. Grab I mean, yours. <laughs> hers isn't a bad prop. It'll be very mean. Um, okay. So. Audio listeners, you're missing uh, props. really high set deck production right now with makeup. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. I want to cool. be smaller. She wants to be skinnier. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be skinnier. I'm not going to be the blush palette. Okay, fine. I'm the bronzer now. Actually, okay. I want to be the highlighter. Okay. okay. So this is me. The Anastasia. It's a little dirty. Okay, add. And then cool. right here is the hourglass bronzer. Okay. This is me in my car. This is another guy in a car. Okay. They're next to each other. We're in an intersection. Intersection, intersection. Okay? Okay. Red light. The light is red. There's a crosswalk in front of me. But yes. I'm going to be turning right. I'm making sure. a right-hand turn. Okay? Which, mixed signals, by the way. Some people say it's illegal in California to turn right on reds. But other people uh, are like, no. it's fine. Okay. 
I definitely I, turn right on reds in California, unless it says no right turn on okay. red. That's what I thought too. I'm fine with turning right on reds for the record. I think it's a-okay, but I'm sitting here and there are people on the crosswalk and they are taking their sweet ass time and it's a red light. There's no traffic coming and going. So if those people weren't there, I would make my right hand turn, right? Okay. So I'm waiting. They are lollygagging. The guy behind me pissed. Mur, mur. And I'm like, that's a pretty good honk. I do. I do this with my hand. I say, there's people. I, you know, I talk out loud like I do in the car. I'm like pointing. I'm like, people, people, person. Because there's another guy right here at the before going on the crosswalk. And he's kind of deciding if he wants to walk or if he wants to do the other way. He's just like being confusing. Um, But these guys are still walking and they're going really slow. And this guy's like, and I'm like, oh, my God hate California. Then finally they get past me. And so I assume he can see now that there are humans in front of me. And mm-hmm. then this human is still being very like toe on the curb. And then he's like, never mind. And then he goes to other curb. And I'm like, what are you okay. doing? Like just one of those people. And so I give yeah. him an extra second. Burr, burr, and I'm like, mother. So then I make my turn. Red light. Right. Great. This guy behind me goes Skrr! and catches up to me. Okay, next to me. But I already have this ready. I've got the middle finger up <laughs> out my window. Motherfucker, there were people. Okay? Uh-huh. Like, holy fuck yeah. shit, fuck you. You're annoying. And like, I've watched the news. I know people have so died. You can't from do road that rage. in Texas. Yeah. I shouldn't have they done will it pull out for a the record. And shoot you. Yeah, you're about to you're gonna see. So I have, and he's like so pissed that he was skirting out, you know, in the other lane just to get away from me. But he slowly registers that I flipped him off. He goes, er, skirt, stops in the middle of the road. And there's no traffic. Like there's none, surprisingly. So then I go, uh oh, this is going to be funny. And so I stop. I'm not going to go catch up with you. Right? Because the that issue is so scared. <laughs> well, fair. The issue is, is there are more cars like a block ahead of us all stopped at a red light, too. And we would have lined up right next to each other. Sure. So if I would have sped up, we would have been next to each other anyway. And so I'm like, oh, God, just like waiting for traffic to come behind him and honk at him or something like, come on, L.A., time to shine. Um, But instead, no traffic is coming. And I'm like, and then he reverses. Oh, and I'm, my God. So I have all this time to think. I'm literally sitting there. I'm doing that thing where I go, oh, God, here we go. Here we go. And I'm like, okay, how do I want to do this? And I, I have enough time during this whole altercation to really decide, like, how do I, what's the play here, you know? And so he backs up and I was like, this will be funny. And I go, skirt, burr. <laughs> and then he goes, skirt, burr. And I'm like, skirt, burr. And he goes, skirt, burr. Audio just, listeners, she means going forward and backwards and he's matching her. Yeah. And it's very funny to me. And finally, I roll down the window and I say, Cause he's rolling down and he's just yelling. He's just yelling yeah. the whole time. And I'm playing my skirt Burt game. Um, he's yelling, yelling, yelling. I roll down and I first start aggro and I say, there were people, there were people crossing the road. I could not move. And he's just like, you dumb bitch. You need to learn how to drive. Blah, blah, blah. And he is not, he doesn't care to listen. And so then I realize, oh, we've got to change our speed here. So he's yelling, yelling, yelling. And then I, Quick switch, arm on window, lay my head down like this. And I go, you're so right. You are so right. (laughs) I said, where can I learn to drive? Could you help me? I, this isn't even my car. This is someone else's. Someone gave this to me. Could you help me, please? I really need to learn how to drive. And he's just yelling and I'm being a psychopath. I'm like, yeah, you're so right. Oh my God. You're so (laughs) right. Like I'm just doing that. I'm not kidding you. For the record, viewers, uh, I cry in this situation. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm scared. I scared. I call friend. I cry. <laughs> well, I think to myself, if he had a gun, he would have already pulled it out. So I can play. Sure. Well, I maybe, can play yeah, now. I mean, in Texas, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. Around. I cry. So, I run. So I'm doing that. I'm being very condescending. I'm being like, you're so right. I wish I was as smart as you. Like, I, I keep doing that. And I mm-hmm. say, I, I say, like, I have, I say, can I say one thing, though, please? And he's still yelling. He's like, dumb bitch i said please can i just say one thing please and he goes he he's like yeah what what like he snaps and he's like what and i say can i say i just hope you 
fucking kill yourself i go crazy i go full league of legends like call of duty like i dropped the maltov i said i hope you run into the next red light and you crash into the back of the car and i hope you fucking die and i hope your family sits at home and they wonder where you fucking are all night and then they realize they don't even fucking care because they don't even love you because you're worthless and you're trash and you're <laughs> a bad human and i hope you fucking die and then i just go skirt <laughs> i drive away and she takes off with the last word yeah it was awesome that, that's crazy it was Have one of the coolest done things like i've that done before yeah yes <laughs> yeah what the uh unfortunately due to like the slang of 2023 the kill yourself is like back baby uh it shouldn't be back baby it uh, shouldn't be back it shouldn't record. be back we shouldn't do bring we it back. say it Offline. yes no no neither of us we don't say that it's very to ourselves or our friends 2013 league of legends lobbies but you know whatever we're back baby and so no we're not <laughs> we're back baby and so like use it when you use it but yeah i have uh i like i i've noticed i've done this before Man. that i have I, I think it's a blessing i have a very reactionary to mean men Usually they don't make me cry. I like to belittle them as quickly as possible. And I think it's my superpower. What do I do with mean men? Okay. I, I can't recall. Do you recall a mean man interaction that I've had? I don't time? know. Like, 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 here's another example. One time I was just like walking, I was walking down the street and this guy, this guy was like, where are you going with all that ass? And I turned around and I said, I'm mm. going to fuck your dad. Like, that's fine. that's the kind of stuff that like, I just, I, I think League of Legends or Halo got, got me. When men cat call me on the street, I say I'm 15. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, that's because good. I think it works for me. And I'm like, I'm 15. <laughs> and then they're like, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good answer. Um, that's crazy. I so... I so so strongly regret not picking up the phone because I would yeah you would have had hear... the full like yeah because she was adrenaline like, in like da -da 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 -da. yeah yeah oh my god that's crazy yeah. I've never told I've never told anybody on the in person that I oh don't he know. was an asshole <laughs> he had like he was like in a BMW and like with yeah. a, a freaking palm tree button up he was somebody's fucking uncle that they don't like like he was an asshole hole like wow. jesus christ what is wrong with you that's crazy part of me i i even quite literally part of me when we were doing the whole backup game i was like where's my taser what if i just get out what if i get out and tase this guy and i was like considering it that's not worth but then i told him to kill himself sure. instead yeah that's fine the gamer in me came out but no no taser i also have a taser in my car and then i and go spray i go straight to uh and a gun mini golf <laughs> with my friends <laughs> i'm like Hey, how like, was hey, your guys. drive? Yeah, I was like, hey. That was fun. I don't like mini golf. Uh, I actually got second. I did pretty good. And now wow. I've decided um I'm I'm going to be hiring some more uh employees soon. And I've decided that one of the tasks I'm going to have them do my next event that I'm hoping to do in November if I can again this is all pending brain working. Don't worry. I'm not putting too much pressure on it. If it happens this year, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. She's fine. Um, I don't know what she's going to say right now. I don't think you've told me about. I didn't because I came up event. with it when I was mini golfing. I want to do a PGA styled mini golf tournament. That's funny. It's going to be sick. And you're just like. Yeah. And we're going to have. I want me and Slime to be the commentators that go hold yeah. a hole and we're commentating. And then I want like eight golfers. I want 18 holes. I want them. I want the best mini golf course in LA, like with the, like all the windmills, like the, yeah. you know, a crazy one. And then I want, I, I'm going to need a crowd of like 10 people to do. Yeah. Everyone's required to wear white. Like it'll be, it'll be great. You, it's got to be, the camera work has got to be right too. I feel like there's a very yeah, specific, I'll need like, like three cameras. With golf. Yeah. I'll need yeah. like one for the whole one for uh one for like the actual golf and then one for the commentators and then That's it'll be a fun. lot of movement but yeah I'm ex i think it'll actually be hear me out i think it'll be relatively simple camera work because i think i can just use three backpacks to a server mm -hmm. uh, well, that's not a question for me but uh i'm pretty sure i can space is in okay. the is listening right now and he's like god damn space it cutie like, please <laughs> please don't do this please okay. please stop um 
No, no that's a good I, idea. I totally can. We need to talk about on this episode or the Patreon episode, whatever you want. We do need to talk about the gala because it's oh, it's like up. done, baby. Well, I don't know anything about it. Um, the only thing I need you to do, I want you to reach out to this conservationist. I don't think you've given me you. I I know you keep talking about him, but I don't think I know. I'm going to give you his info right now. So okay. you are doing a what's another word for like a TED talk presentation. <laughs> Yeah, but like a cool one. I don't. Uh... So you're gonna do a TED talk on <laughs> conservation, yeah. and then I also want this guy to do. I want two TED talks. Guys, I feel fine about it. For the record, it's just a you know five to ten minutes in front of a couple hundred thousand people saying the most impactful thing possible about conservation. In that you time. think that many people I are gonna watch your really big great about it? Okay, with the VOD too. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Wait, are you stressed? Uh, I am stressed about having the most impact possible. Yes. Okay. Do you know am I like about nervous th- about the you could talk speaking? about no. the stupid bugs? Okay. First of all, what bugs are not stupid. They make up 94% of our animal species on this planet. Are you serious? And without them, we would die. We'd be fine. really hard. Um, I'm trying to find him. Oh, here he is. He is the Amazon jungle expert. Okay. Um, his name is Paul Rosalie, and he's a great speaker. Maya, I'm sending you the Paul video. He was on the Rosalie. Lex Friedman podcast, and he was very Paul great. Paul Rosalie. It was very good. So that is your job. You're in charge of that. This week, though, this week I'm sending out invites, which is very exciting. I'm trying to keep it to a uh, hundred maybe 150 people um who drama who should we not invite um um hassan Esfand, Ew, yeah. for sure what? i don't think you should invite jay schlatt either because he won't come he won't come um i don't think you should invite jhb Ugh. jhb yuck um Brazo, yuck no, he can come. Prezzo, I want everyone to know we hired Prezzo and he's already on sabbatical. <laughs> it's true. He's a mess. That is true. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but it's okay. But he's it's okay. Back. Because we, re- we respect sabbaticals. Yeah. Um, he did tweet today, actually. What did he tweet? What did he pull out of oh, the let revolver? Me, let me bypass my time limit on Twitter for the day. Uh-oh. What's your time limit? Use... An hour? Uh, 15 minutes. Damn, girl. Mine is an hour Wine. cumulative of all social media. Maybe mm. you should do that. Wine is fucking disgusting. Horrid shit. I like blue monster mixed with whiskey. Okay. Well. That's what he tweeted. That's going to not help the wine sponsors, but that's okay. Yeah, it's actually not ideal. You're right. It's a mess. It'll be fine. We'll recover. Anyway. We will recover um, from this. Yeah, we'll be fine. So uh, the gala, like a hundred people, whatever. It's there's a an auction. People bring stuff to auction off. Yes, I'm working with and the then, website designer right now. So you and, and I then, are doing red carpet. Great. You and I, people. This is me and you. It's actually the green carpet. Cute. And there's these beautiful. I have this beautiful display of like greenery behind us, and it's beautiful. And we're sitting there, and stupid ass Will Neff walks in, and we're like, Hey, Will. Thanks for coming to the gala for good. Uh, tell us about what you're wearing. And then, is it gala or gala? I feel like we should get on the same I page really right don't now. know. I don't either. Fuck. I want to call it the gala and only invite the gays. Oh. Thoughts? I don't mind calling it gala. I only know two gays. Yeah, Thoughts. I don't know if there are enough gays. Is what <laughs> I know I four. Saying. I just remembered another. But he's my graphic designer and I don't know if he would come. Oh. <laughs> okay so we're okay. gonna pick how to pronounce it the um, okay and then we do the red carpet and it's so, red carpet like streamer awards yeah you're like but what are you wearing? what i'm hoping is for you to know enough about animals it's my wink i'm hoping that you'll know enough about animals that stupid ass hassan is standing next to us and he's like my outfit's inspired by the anaconda and you can be like anacondas are brown endangered <laughs> 
and okay. Oh, okay. we need to save I'm them. Like, Did maybe, you know? honestly, maybe we keep an AirPod in your ear with space yeah. and like space can yeah. like feed you info. No, that's a good idea. You'll look smart when you're not. You are not smart, but you'll look smart. Thank you. You're welcome. Good idea. So then we'll have like I knew that. the I'm casualness done. of fashion, but then you also come in with like the animal facts, which is cool. Yeah. Yeah. And then they all have their item because we force them to bring something to donate. And Hassan brings uh, stupid diapies. He's like, these are my diapies that I wear on stream. I'm going to donate them. What? Taylor comes in. Taylor grabs the diapies. She runs backstage. She works with my staff. And Pads? They t- yeah, he wears diapies. No, he doesn't. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Yeah. This is... Oh. He does. Okay. So then Taylor and team are backstage. They take pictures of the diapies. They work with Michael, my website guy. Uh, and uh, I just made that name up. That's why I stuttered. Um, because I'm working with a company and I'm nervous because they said that that might be the guy I'm working with. But what if I don't work with him and I just said his name? Awkward. Anyway, take a picture <laughs> He uploads it onto an eBay-esque website, but it's yep. for the gala for good. People have 24 hours Bidding's open to bid yeah. on it. You have 24 hours to bid on it. All that money goes to uh, the charities of mm-hmm. our choices, uh, which are mm-hmm. all for the rainforest and one for rainforest bugs specifically. Um, no. No rainforest bugs? No. I was like, wow. Oh. It sounded like oh, you said bow, bow, bow. no. It did sound like I said no, but I said, whoa. This just in Maya actually doesn't like the bugs. I love the bugs. And then we do that for like an hour or two. Okay. And then we everyone's seated. They're having their stupid dinner because we have to feed them to come. You lame. Do we do red carpet together or separately? Together. Green carpet. Okay, yeah. great. Easy. That makes it way easier. Duh, because you're the fact girl and I'm the fun girl. Oh, great. <laughs> What? Love that. Well, you can be the fun. <laughs> you can be the fun fact girl. Yay! <laughs> I just won't have any facts. Okay. You're supposed to be the animal girl. Okay. Great. Uh, then now the show's starting. Maya Higa takes the stage. She gives her TED talk on animals. It's gonna be. I'm thinking inspirational. I'm thinking give like a couple. Maybe big you should facts end figures. it then. Should we have Paul okay. go and then you end the show? Sure. And you end with inspiration? Because I... Because we can I, control yeah. your narrative, but we can't control his. We I also like don't know if it. he's going to do it. I would like to end it. Okay. So you and I go on stage. We intro Paul because we assume he agrees to this. <laughs> we haven't talked to him. We haven't talked to him. I need to, to look into him too. I don't know anything about yeah, him. Yeah, for so all I know, he could like be into blood diamonds. Who knows? Um, you never know who's into blood diamonds. That's joke it's true you don't know he looks us up and to find out what we're about he sees this podcast watches it and he's like yo what the hell (laughs) he's like i am not into blood diamonds (laughs) (laughs) okay all right so we introduce whoever's speaking they speak paul he gets then we auction off men he yes and then we auction off men so i need probably 10 to 15 men which whom i'll reach out to this week uh streamers streamers they will get on stage we are auctioning off streamer dates so we're auctioning off e-rob with a picnic date and a cameraman included picnic date cameraman included who wants to buy him no one (laughs) so we move on to hassan (laughs) yeah and we put ludwig up there you can go on the, the swan boats in la with ludwig streamed on your channel with the cameraman who wants to buy him obviously it's mostly going to be men like only streamers can buy other streamers for the record. Okay. Yeah. Um, so it's Imagine probably, yeah. You open it <laughs> up. Viewers. Like Hassan, good luck. Uh, and my intention there for the record is because, yes, viewers will be buying the things that they can bid on. But you know who's probably richer than viewers? These dumb ass streamers. And I want their money for charity. Milk them. I'm going to milk them. I'm going to milk yep. them. Yep. And so then they will do that. And that'll be a fun part of the show. And then for Lucy Goosey, because we need some Lucy Goosey entertainment while people are eating. After that, we, strip. we have a hypnotist. 
Oh yeah, I forgot about which this. I think Very is going to be. Have, sick. Did you find one? Yes, and he is so insane. Really, in a nice way, hypnotist. If you watch this, but you crazy. Taylor had a scheduled ten minute call with him that lasted two hours. How were they just chatting? He was no. He was like sending her examples. He was talking himself up. He was. <laughs> he's like he is a character. Okay. He will great. be entertaining. Great. So he is. Gonna, I'm not doing it. Neither of us no, are doing it for the record. No. We um, want to see other people do that, but we don't want to do that. Yeah. Yeah. So stream entertainment will be that, and then finally yeah. to wrap it all up. Bring us back to why we're here. Maya Higa gets on stage, inspirational, talks about the animals, talks about the Here's bugs. Here's the thing. Says we I'm raised have, two dollars. The end. It's gonna be a whole thing. I, there's a screen, right? Yeah, but it's a projector, and I don't know if we'll be able to see very well. Uh, I guess by the time you go, we'll be able to see because it'll be nighttime. So you should use the projector. My plan was to have an animation that lines up with what I'm saying. Wow. Okay. It's gonna be real dramatic. You have. I'm like gonna be a like a month for this. I'm gonna be like realize? the forests are getting cut down, and there's gonna be like trees falling behind me. <laughs> oh my god. It's gonna be really what if you dramatic. put a live action play on in the background with real people? Yeah, you get streamers up there again, and they fall down as trees. That would be really funny, actually. That's um, too much work. No, nothing, not not like cheesy, crazy. I, I'm just like, I'm hoping for it to be like, wow, you know, wow. And they look at it and they're like, wow, I love the earth. It will That's be. It will be dark enough by the time you go up that you can use a projector. Paul will not be able to use a projector. Tragedy, but is it inside though? No greenhouse. Yes. Okay. It's gonna be Windows. beautiful. Taylor and I, you know what we're good at is design, baby. And it is going to be so pretty. Sick. It's going to be so pretty. Um, but I'm hoping. So just because people always ask me this about financials for events, all of this is coming out of my pocket. Uh, I don't plan on making any money like off of like the clothes or whatever we donate, like what, the bidding, the streamers, whatever. Uh, everything I spend out of pocket, I'm hoping we get a sponsor sponsored mm -hmm. by freaking AT&T and I hope that sponsor is what pays me back pays the event yeah. I'm just trying to break even I'm not necessarily like okay I, I would like to keep this very clear streamer awards I want to make money my goal for streamer mm -hmm. awards to make is to make money someday like I want to be a rich bitch from the streamer awards uh the gala for good I'm happy if I break even mm -hmm. it's it's but for, it's yeah for you don't need to shout out like a yeah. hundred grand yeah grand money and just be like well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I want to yeah. I want to be able to put on an event that raises a ton of money um, without mm -hmm. uh, obviously I will also be donating to the cause, but mm -hmm. without like, you know, losing money on. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Makes sense. Do you like the plan? I think it's a good plan. Yeah. Do you think I'm it'll excited. be fun? I'm. We need to figure out what we're wearing before like oh, I know. two weeks before i can't I wear we that butterfly dress i want i really oh. want it oscar de la renta butterfly dress it's twelve thousand dollars <laughs> i if we lived in the same but not another one of these we could I make saw it on tiktok I think people make making the like molds of their body and then they just make clothes on them yeah we could there's do like that. oh let me just Pin, 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 do a little corset. Here's a shirt for me. Perfect size. Like, I want to do that so bad, but I don't want to do it alone. So. Yeah. I also, you know what I've been doing? I love my beads. <laughs> Everybody knows this. I love my beads. I love making necklaces. I love making bracelets, but I'm really in my, my Taylor Swift obsession is in back. It's back, baby. Um, back. And so I'm making friendship bracelets but like really nice ones and i'm making one for every single song she's ever done and they're all themed like chat or commenters give me like two seconds to be annoying um the mirror ball one is insane it's like i want to see uh, i'd have to go downstairs it's fine but it's like all like pearls and silver beads and whatever and translucent beads and then i got an actual tiny disco ball charm Cute. and then i got a little ballerina charm because one of the lines is about how she's like always putting on a show like i'm on this tightrope uh, i'm still trying to get your attention type thing so i have a little ballerina one um uh and then i have like this really shimmery um like shard looking one so it looks like a broken shard but it's like 
it's just pretty. Did you decide, are we using Shopify now? What's um, the deal? No, I tweeted that out. And then the original company that said they were going to help us with the website was like, hey, we'll help you. You just need to call us. And I was like, okay. But I have oh. 400 DMs, so I haven't gotten back to them. Got it. But it's on my list. Okay. Okay. Cutie and I want to make crafts and then sell them. We've talked about this before, but yeah. that's that's her project. I have a lot that I want to do and have not had time to do. I'm going to drop all of mine at once. So I'm going to get like all 100 and whatever Got done it. and then drop them all at once. Cool. And I think it'll be cool because people will be like, I want the afterglow one or I want whatever uh, you do. What? I know we want to make them cheap. Just make sure that. Oh, no, no, no. The website charges shipping. Yeah. Make sure that you at least cover your materials. Yeah. Then that's what. Yeah. Okay. At least break. Well, even. I asked on <laughs> Twitter. Money off I them, asked but... on Twitter. I was like, should I do five dollars? And they were like, bitch, you need to do ten. And I was like, oh, you should probably do at least ten. Yeah, yeah because the charms. You spent hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars on bracelets or beads. Beads. So. Yeah, yeah. I don't care to pay for my Just time. Don't Just don't lose yeah. a ton of money. Ah, uh, it makes me happy. All right, we're going to, guys, that's it for this episode. What? Like and subscribe and Maya, click that notification bell. We have bell. like 10 more minutes. And then, no, we don't. Yeah, because remember, it took us eight minutes of this recording troubleshooting. Okay, then I'll say what I was going to say for the end of the episode. Do it. No. Oh. Wait, <laughs> what are you going to say right now? Oh, you're going to bait something for the Patreon? Yeah. Oh, this is awkward. No. Um. Okay. Um, I lost my train of thought. Damn it. I went on I was so ready. the yard today for two seconds. You went on it? Yeah, because they were recording. I, I have a, in their warehouse, I have a small room that I am getting turned into my late night show set. Um, it's finally getting started on. Long story about why that never got done. Um, but it's finally getting started on and they're upstairs recording the yard. And I was like, how funny would it be if I walked in there and I flashed them? But I put like, I put like, you know, tape all over my boobs. So they think I'm flashing them, but then it's like tape and it has like a message that's like Prezzo for president or something. <laughs> just like while Did they're recording, I just walk in. Do I'm that? like, no, because we couldn't find any tape. Me and Zipper were like talking about it. And we're like, that'd be funny. And, but then I just <laughs> popped in to say hi to uh, Ludwig. And then Slime was like, Slime was like, if I dated Taylor Swift, would that make you happy or sad? And then I was like, Huh. <laughs> happy unless you fix it up right that's what i yeah that's what i said i said yeah, that'd be great like, it'd be so cool and i made him her, but like agree to make me the best man if he gets married to taylor swift so that's huge for cute. me cute um yeah that'd be big he, he agreed but i did okay, i did well, technically go in the yard for four minutes today that is huge for both of us because they have tried so hard and put in so much effort into not having us on that podcast yeah so congratulations for the record here's the tea sisters ludwig has asked me to go on the yard he has said oh. hey baby cakes do you want to come on the yard and i've always said no because it feels and maybe i'm being a girl here ew yuck maybe i'm being a girl here <laughs> in a toxic way i'm saying that condescendingly and toxic of course um where i'm like you're just asking me because you're my boyfriend the other mm. boys don't want me on the yard that's how i feel is that true okay. probably not but since ludwig is always the one that's like hey will you come on this show it's not like i'm like do the other guys even want me there or are you just like being a nice boyfriend you know am i being is... i <laughs> I would like to go on the record and say that that's stupid. Oh. Because <laughs> I think you'd have fun and, you know, you guys live together and are friends. And a lot of people want you on podcasts because you're good on podcasts. So they're probably like, man, that sucks that it's not just like, because you're also his girlfriend. So, like, it's an easy-ish guest to have on logistically. I will go on so the yard if bummed. Slime asks me by painting it on his tummy. And going on Hollywood Boulevard and taking a picture of showing his tummy that says, Cutie, will you come on the yard? The bar is through the roof, guys. <laughs> I don't think he's going to do that. <laughs> the ball's in your court, slime. 
Yeah, and then he actually has that. to be on Aiden's shoulders. That? I don't... Can he? Do they want a million view episode or not? Can Aiden get on... Can Slime get on Aiden's shoulders? No, Slime is too short. He I, can't uh, climb up there. I couldn't have Slime on my shoulders. Why? Because he's too big. <laughs> <laughs> and I would collapse. <laughs> I don't know why it's funny. <laughs> oh my gosh, Maya, you know... Um, I'd like to go on the record and say I don't think slime is fat. What? I would like to go on the record and correct her and say she just said slime is big. And that's drama. Oh my god. Did you freeze? Welcome back. I got, are, you, are we still recording? Yeah, because... Cool! That goes on the Patreon unedited version, and I was talking. I was, I was like letting my feelings out. So what goes on? The oh, oh, I. Uh, She's back. I got the blue screen of death. Okay, act like nothing happened for the YouTube version, and start laughing because you just called slime fat. Ready? <laughs> slime <laughs> is big. <laughs> <laughs> That's so much worse than saying I don't think slime is. This is a joke. I don't think slime is fat. I do think he has a big head. But that's only because there's not hair on it. I, what? If he had hair, it'd be a bigger head. No, it just looks bigger because there's no hair on it. I don't think that's how it works. I think that's what I think about bald people every time I see a bald person. Oh, my. Okay. Um, you, even if they asked you, you wouldn't go on the yard. Yeah, now. <laughs> but yeah, last now, year, bitch. I yeah. would have. So they lost, your, they lost their shot. What the heck? You're the you're the great white whale or the great white buffalo. Do you call me big? <laughs> you're big like slime. Did you call me fat? You're the one that got away. Oh. Ah. You're the you could you could be the yard's rose. What? It's special to them. Who's rose? You know the guy who we watched he, we watched him wax his butthole? Yeah. So, you guys might not have seen this on the Patreon episode we watched a guy wax his butthole. I didn't like that. I didn't like it. Okay. You thought I liked it? I don't know. Just <laughs> I didn't like it, but I watched it and it was educational. And um he made a TikTok recently cuz Austin, Austin's TikToks from Fear and have been popping off. Like they've been going viral, but nobody knows that it's Fear and that what podcast it's on. Like half of the comments oh, are like where is this from? Which because they're on Austin's TikTok. TikTok, yeah. That's funny. Which okay. is funny. Um, and then, uh, uh, which I've actually learned if you want to put wine about it, TikToks on your TikTok, it's actually beneficial too, because it all feeds back. It's there are some on my TikTok. Oh, there are. I don't know <laughs> if there are any on mine, uh, but maybe we should. Anyway, long story. Austin's are popping off like crazy. And then the Kevin is butthole guy. Butthole guy posted a TikTok that was like, hey, this is who I'm thirsting over for this month. And he, these are some social media influencers that I am thirsting over right now. Oh, God. Number one was Austin from Austin Show. <laughs> wow. That's incredible. He goes, I don't know who this guy is, but he's been popping off lately. It's Austin from Austin Show. <laughs> the Austin Show, Mr. Show. So funny. So, so are they gonna go is now date? called Austin Show. No. Um, I don't think they will. Sad. Austin apparently, uh, apparently, butthole guy is a little problematic. Really? I guess I don't know how they wouldn't tell me. Oh. Okay. Let's but not talk about it then. <laughs> now we're at the end of this episode, guys. We're at the end of this episode. Uh, we're gonna switch the Patreon episode, and I'm going to reveal to all of the patrons only uh, what I'm about to do to change my hair drastically i'm also going to talk about my first open mic that i went to i can't believe we didn't talk about that on this episode oh my god i know because She's my comedian. stand my stand up is this week and i did my first open mic last week are you going to facetime in and watch my speech stand up can i i, I didn't could, know that was you, an option you could talk to lud i guess okay dope yeah absolutely you could but if you what don't time laugh, is it? dope uh actually you're gonna be asleep it's like 9 30 on a thursday i don't think you'll make it 
We'll see. I, I, think I go to bed dead. at 10.30. Yeah. So it'd be 11.30 your time. No, I can stay up for that. It's easy peasy. Uh, yeah, I, I learned a lot. We'll talk about that in the bonus. Also, I'm back in my Playboy rabbit hole, unironically, and I've got some crazy Playboy stories that we're going to talk about a little bit. And uh, a, a Reddit a Reddit story that I found. So we've got lots going on on the Patreon. Uh, everyone that supports us on the Patreon, thank you so much. We're at 8,000 subs. Maya's going to come to Legoland soon. If we get to 9,000, we're going to do a wine tour. We're going to go comes. to Legoland. And yeah. then we're going to make our dresses for the gala. Ooh. Oh yeah, we're going to do that all at once for sure. Okay, Lud is going to FaceTime me for your stand-up on Thursday. Did you just text him? Yes. Oh, that was quick. He just easy, got easy. home. I heard him. Hello, Bloodwig. He can't Wicked! Hear you. Oh, that's fine. Okay, we're gonna go talk about all those things on the Patreon. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Click that. Hit that notification bell. And don't forget to sign up for like the button. Patreon. We don't talk about it enough. If you're a tier three on the Patreon, you get stickers sent to you. You get art. You get a recipe. Uh, tier two, you get all the bonus content. Which, um, which I've decided this is what we're trying, and they're in the mail now. Uh, my new tier two bonus content because I was doing Taylor talks and they weren't really great because I think they were just too short. And so now I'll do my long Taylor presentations. You guys aren't asking for any of this, so I should stop talking. Anyway, my new mini bonus content on the Patreon, and we're going to see how it does for a month or two, because I guess it's only one episode a week, so we should give it a little bit, is I just ordered a bunch of vintage Playboy magazines. Because if you didn't know, when Playboy was first written, it was written as a men's magazine to give men advice. The same way like Cosmo gives That's women so advice. And so I think it's going to be fascinating. So I ordered a bunch of vintage Playboys and we're going to like read some of them. Uh, Playboy has a really controversial history. There's lots of like sexual assault and like really bad things in that company. And I know a lot about it. And uh, in no way am I reading these to glorify the things. I'm reading them because it's going to be very ironic, I'm sure, and insane, some of the mm -hmm. articles. So anyway, those have been ordered. I'm excited to do that. That's the new thing. Maya does TikTok time as well as animal talk. I on show the you guys my like TikToks and then I research an animal, um, an interesting animal. And I do a mini episode all about. Oh, like, we didn't even animal. talk about more about Taylor's concert. Everyone requested it and we haven't. Talk yeah. about it on the Patreon. We had a lot okay. to talk about this week. Um, and, uh, and, and, and I'm doing my art print tonight for the tier three patrons. And, oh, and we just post, when we were together in person, we just spammed like clips on Patreon of us just like doing stuff. There's we a video on there of me and Judy dumps. on a roller coaster and I was not having fun. Mm -hmm. So if you want to see us on a roller coaster, it's on the Patreon. <laughs> yeah. It was a time. So yeah, we're gonna go over there now, goodbye. I made those noises with my mouth. Audio listeners, she tooted. <laughs> Bye. Goodbye. <laughs>